You've heard of dog sledding, and I'm sure you know what sand sledding is, but have you ever heard of sand dune dog sledding? <laughs> well, we're at White Sands National Park. Did you know White Sands is the largest gypsum sand dune in the world? <sighs> and gypsum's, you know, a natural mineral that's found within the mountains that surround the dunes here. That's cool. <sighs> now covering 275 square miles, the park's white glow could even be seen from outer space. But don't let that white glow fool you, because it isn't actually white. They only appear white because the grains reflect the sun's rays, unlike other sand which absorbs the sun's rays. And I bet you're thinking, that's pretty cool. And you're right, it is cool. It's cool sand. Very cool. Could I do this in hot sand? Well, I guess I probably could, but I might get a little burned. And yes, I know, today it's a little cold, but even on a hot day, the sand is still cool. <laughs> is it off? Is it good? It's just a little. But that's not the only reason why we're here. We're actually here because of these two dorks. This is Rocky. He's a blue healer. He's roughly 20 inches tall, 30 inches long, and he has a circumference of 31 inches. Which has gained him the nickname Beefcake, or Beef for short. Not only is he big in spirit, but also in physical appearance. Oh. Oh. So much for doing tricks. And then there's Relly. Young, fit, curious. Looks like something you'd find under a couch after not vacuuming for a year along with that missing sock. And these two travel with us wherever we go. And that's how we ended up in White Sands, one of only a handful of national parks that allow dogs to accompany you on trails and hikes throughout the park. And since we want to take full advantage of this opportunity, we decided not just to walk our dogs throughout the dunes, but rather have them pull us. <laughs> what do you think, bros? Because to you, this might just look like a giant pile of sand, but to us, it's a raceway. So in order to go sledding on the dunes, we first needed to acquire a sled. And we ran some tests yesterday to see what the best sledding techniques were. We're on Tatooine, and today we're gonna do a test run of the dune dog sledding sand. Test one, naked bottom, no wax. Results, failure. Test two with wax. Oh, it's exhausting work. Ready to go. <laughs> that was a success. And even though it was a little bit better, we wanted more better. This is gonna be our sled. It is a quarter inch piece of birch. We had a guy over at Home Depot cut this for us out of some project board. Get out of here. Really? We saw sand sleds online for over $200 and they were basically just this with some special coating on the bottom. We're gonna just try to bend it a little bit with some rope so that we don't end up shoveling. It keeps us up off the sand. Spray it with some poly on the bottom and then coat it with wax and hopefully it works. Got some paracord. Hey. This might create friction. We're a little worried about that, but it's giving us our bend. So what we did was we popped two holes in the front, two holes in the back, bent it and pulled. We've got ourselves a nice little lip so that we won't be digging in. Now we gotta spray it. None of this might work. All right, first coat. Behold, our homemade sand sled. Ooh, ah, sha. Retails online for $200. We did it for 60. <laughs> but even with our new race sled, the dogs probably still aren't gonna pull us willingly. This right here is our incentive stick. You've heard of a horse and carrot. Well, we've got 
dog and baby carrot. <sighs> Take a baby carrot. Oh, I'm gonna have to like tie this like a fly. <laughs> Does it look like magic? Hey, rock. Okay. Okay, so that's a good sign. Something like that. We just have to like really stay on our sleds. I don't know, we'll try it. I think we're ready for the big race or the massive failure. Bye. I have chat prayers. <laughs>
All right, she came close by doing it all herself. <laughs> what, are, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, oh, Rouse. That's a hot dog. He did kind of go for it. All right, my turn. Round two, hot dog. Here we go. <gasps> Come on, Rock, let's go. He just wants the one in my pocket. Throw it. It broke. It snapped and he's just getting the one out of my pocket. <laughs> what if I just throw the hot dog? I just said that. Oh. Go! 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 Get it! Come on, get it. let's go! Woo! Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, get it! Come on, Come on, let's go! Go, 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 go! go. Oh. We made it halfway. <sighs> Even with the hot dogs. Failure. Maybe we have to shorten the course <laughs> or we go to a steeper hill or we swap sleds. There's a lot of variables. A lot of variables here. Okay, there we go. We need to refuel. So, uh, as it turns out, dogs just can't be dog sledders because you want them to. We haven't even made it to the finish line once, so we've decided since this is the third and final round to basically throw all the rules out. We're on a new slope, it's shorter, and each rider will be allowed to use whatever motivation and assistance necessary to get to the finish line. Whoosh! Yeah. Woo, Bubba, go, go, go! <laughs> you did it, Rally. All he wants is to ball. Ready, go. Yeah. Get the ball. Get the ball. Come on, ball. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, ball. Yeah. 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 We did it, man. <laughs> what a rush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have an injury. I didn't even know. My adrenaline is just pumping. <laughs> it's go time. Julie made it with Rally, which I felt like he was the underdog, and yet here we are with my fat dog. And speaking of dogs, my motivator is going to be an entire hot dog, <laughs> not just a segment like before. We're going to throw this entire wiener, and hopefully I can chuck it far enough to get me across that finish line. Let's do it. Free! Okay. <laughs> it counts. Finish line. It counts. All right. So I guess my racer is only motivated by wieners. But we made it. We both crossed the line. We ditched the rules. We overcame the impossible. And we dog sled on sand. Crystal sand. And the winner of the first annual 2023 White Sands Dog Sledding Race is Rally! <laughs> now it's pretty clear that Rally was the winner of the race. I mean, he basically did it in half the amount of time Rocky and I did. But to be honest, I think the true winners are us. I mean, we're super lucky to be able to take the two of them with us everywhere that we go and share in all of our great adventures and life experiences together. Most pets are stuck at home while their owners work eight to 10 hours a day. But we've got these two spoiled homeschool separation anxiety furballs because we're together all the time. 
And don't get me wrong, it's not always easy. I mean, we almost never get a full night's sleep with these two trying to wriggle in between us. And they're not the best behaved. <laughs> <laughs> Rock! <laughs> outrageous. But they really are our best friends. And we know they're not going to be around forever. That's why we try and make the most out of the time that we do have. And they've been so patient over the past year and a half while we worked on this van. And during that whole time, we kept telling ourselves and them like, oh, you know, one more month, one more month, and eventually we'll get to go on fun adventures and see the world and hike every day and be outside and not have you guys cooped up eating grandma's food all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but, Which is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I couldn't help but notice, you know, over that year and a half, all these new little gray hairs that would crop up on Rocky. And it was just a constant reminder that, you know, he's not gonna be here forever. But that's why it's the memories like this one that we really need to cherish and hold Go. on to. Go. So if you've got some fur balls, uh, make sure to give them some love and take them out on some adventures of your own. And hopefully, we will see you guys out there.